Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com with just one of these short videos because I'm bored of the impeachment hearings. I just want to read a few verses and then I'm going to ask a, uh, a question. Uh, I'm going to follow this up with what I believe is a, is a relevant question. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Therefore, from now on, we recognize no one according to the flesh, even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him in this way no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. First John chapter 3, no one who abides in him sins, no one who sins has seen him or knows him. Little ch children, make sure no one deceives you. The one who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous. The one who practices sin is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is born of God practices sin because his seed abides in him and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Of God. John chapter 6, it is the spirit who gives life, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and are life. But there are some of you who do not believe, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and who it was that would betray him. And he was saying, For this reason I have said unto you that no one can come unto me unless it has been granted him from the Father. Colossians chapter 3, Therefore consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. For it is because of these things that the wrath of God will come upon the sons of disobedience. And in them you also once walked when you were living in them, but now you also put them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices and have put on the new self who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. And Galatians chapter 6, do not be deceived, God is not mocked, for whatever a man sows, this he will also reap, for the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not grow weary. So then, while we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, and especially to those who are of the household of the faith. See with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand, those who desire to make a good showing in the flesh, try to compel you to be circumcised simply so that they will not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. For those who are circumcised do not even keep the law themselves, but they desire to have you circumcised so that they may boast in your flesh. But may it never be that I would boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ through whom which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world, for neither is circumcision anything nor uncircumcision but a new creation.
Romans 8, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. So, here's my question. Given the fact that we're no longer a single natured individual like we were before we were born again, but we were made a new creation, unlike the non believer who now has two natures an old man and a new man, an old man that can do nothing but sin, which is the flesh, and a, a new man that can that can cannot sin because the seed abides in us and therefore we cannot sin. Why is it and here this is my question. Why is it when we are, you know, basically split down the middle, old man and new man, God didn't eradicate the old man, but he left us with the old man. But we have two natures that are in conflict with one another, where that we can't always do the things that we want because they're in a raging conflict with one another. And we're to walk in the Spirit so that we don't fulfill the lusts of the flesh and that we're dead to the law in order that we might bear fruit unto God. Why is it? This is my question. Why is it that we are constantly being preached to as though we are a single-natured individual like we were before we came to know Christ, before we were born again, before we were made a new, a new creation in Christ, that we're being preached to as if we are in that condition prior to our conversion, just as we were when we were a non-believer, where that we are a single-natured individual, where that we are to clean up, dress up a stinking, rotten corpse, the old man, the flesh, where that we are to walk according to the flesh, walk according to the law, where that the, the, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus in us is completely ignored, and we live a life of, of burden and a, a lack of joy, lack of peace, uh, uh, where the, no true fruit is, is being born through the, the new spirit that is in us. We, we, we're not walking according to the spirit, but we're walking according to the flesh. That's my question. Why is it? Why is it that modern Christianity wants us to dress up a rotten, stinking, dead, corpse of an old man to make it look good toward you know before God is as if somehow that is our Christian service that's my question just something for you to think about this is Steve love y'all I truly do thanks for watching